Scientists at VCU are creating a technology that just may save lives on the road. Insight reporter Bridget Kelly has more on how the prototype for a TAC breathalyzer is in the works. Right now, scientist Wagner Pacheco's prototype is a 3D printed chip infused with a special chemical. THC oil is then dropped onto the chip and then a chemical reaction causes the chip to change color. The stronger the color, the higher the amount of THC. Our idea is to create a solid phase that will react with the microparticles that someone, when makes use of marijuana, exhaled uh, after they smoked. The plan is to implement this chip into a device that works like an alcohol breathalyzer. Our idea is to study the chemical foundation, the mathematical relationship to produce a number that will be rela related to the quantity of THC in the air. The plan is this device will accurately differentiate between THC from CBD. The part of the plant that doesn't have psychoactive effects. It's very important to differentiate CBD from, uh, from THC to do not have a false positive. But when can Pacheco's creation be used by law enforcement officers? Experts say there isn't a clear line on whether a driver is impaired under cannabis since marijuana legislation is too new in the state. I think we're kind of waiting for some technology to catch up with us because, again, we're so accustomed to being able to measure a .08 for alcohol, we're looking for some kind of a similar me measurement with cannabis. Cannabis stays in your system a lot longer. So how do you know if this is a recent use or something that you used six hours ago? Schrod says a new standardized field sobriety test would have to be put in place before utilizing a THC breathalyzer, and this may take years to be accepted by the courts. That's where the use of technology is, is really important to make sure that, that people are, are treated fairly, that the courts have the information they need to make a proper determination about whether or not somebody violated the law, whether they were impaired. While the device has not been physically engineered, it could look something like this. Pacheco and his team hope to have the prototype complete by 2025. Reporting for VCU Insight and the Newsroom at VCU, I'm Bridget Kelly.